welcome to DIY Solar and Wind. It's been a little while since I shot a video, but it's time. I disconnected all the batteries and uh, I'm going to keep it like that for a little bit. I need to uh, refurbish the batteries and I need to finally put on all the big cables. We got to get it done right. And uh, I got plenty of time to get everything taken care of before winter time. I'm going to show you what's going on in the basement. So here you have it. It's a little noisy. So, the charge controllers, all three of them, they weren't working. For running all the way through. I finally got a meter on it. It's called a watt meter. You can't see it. Let me show another video. Aim at the camera differently. But, uh, I have two inverters running at the same time. I got about 1800 watts worth of solar panels out there. And these are a thousand watts each. So, and I don't know how much electricity all of the electronics is using. But anyway, I got it to run straight through from solar panels to the inverters. I've been doing this for years. When it was all connected out at the garage. But I'm made to believe the charge controllers are supposed to feed through and save these, but these three don't work like that, apparently. So I got all the hots coming in here and all the negatives went through the meter. And I was getting up to 445 watts and I could take up to 2,000 watts. So I'm going, to, I'm going to wire this differently. And then I got to put out a switch. I'm going to, I got a switch so I can go to two different battery banks. And uh, one step at a time, and I'm going to get it rocking this time for sure. All right, thanks for joining. Thanks for watching. See you real soon. And have a nice sunny day.